My grandmother said if you respect someone, you got to dress to show them. So. No, the, the color, though. Your grandmother never told you about that color. She did not. No, she did not. She did not. <laughs> or the socks, Jacob, <laughs> my dad. Or the socks. Bro. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to pull it, put it all together. Please it's really all I've got. And then once no. my interview starts, you'll realize it just goes downhill <laughs> from there. Excuse me a minute. I'm going to go change. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so I actually took an acting class in college. No intention of being an actor. I just wanted to sort of experience that. And it mm -hmm. was one of the most sort of a cathartic experiences of my life. And I got to do a lot of scenes from movies. You've produced a lot of great scenes. You've been in a lot of great scenes. Of all the scenes you've been in and all, all the scenes you've produced, which one would do you think uh, kids could most learn from if they performed in an acting class? Well, the one that sticks up to me was not one that I was in, but one that I produced. And that was Jack Nicholson and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. And I always said, and in that picture, if you remember, there were a lot of these uh, mental hospital scenes, these group meetings. And we have at those the days of film, where there were thousand foot reels, which were ten minutes long, and I have reaction scenes where he's not saying a word, but Jack is simply reacting to what's going on in the group therapy session, which is such a lesson about listening, because so many times actors are acting, and then when it comes to listening, they blank out, and I've always used that um, and used some of those takes just to see what it's like to see somebody for 10 minutes, thousand foot of films, not saying a word, but simply listening to what's going on around him. Wow, that's, that footage's got to, and I'm assuming that footage doesn't make it into the movie because it's, because he's- Well, little yeah. pieces of it yeah. do, but not, not the 10 minutes, but. Wow, that's unbelievable. Is there a, a scene from- You think I'm gonna follow up on a story <laughs> about the Oscar winning <laughs> Cuckoo's Nest and Jack Nicholson, and I'm gonna come up with what, a Dharma and Greg story? I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> No, sir. Moving on. Next Moving question. On. Next question. Moving on. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> oh, my God. That was awesome. Um, you know, I, I love this idea of learning lessons from actors because obviously if you're in the business, you should be the one telling other actors how to do it. What is the most important lesson each of you have learned from an actor? Go ahead. Oh, well, Tell yeah. them a story and I won't follow up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I, it's interesting, we're, we're talking about television that brought a sense because I sort of began with the streets of San Francisco mm -hmm. and uh, Carl Malden was my mentor. Mm -hmm. And uh, interesting enough, Alan Arkin was an Academy Award winner mm -hmm. and here was Carl Malden also, an Academy Award winner at the time. And uh, f for me, it was, it was just about, he was out of Gary, Indiana, steel mills and had a work ethic that was unbelievable. Uh, and those are the days where we would do um, we did a, 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 an hour-long show in seven days. Nowadays, we do a 30-minute show in six days. We're on location, so we would shoot eight and a half months straight, you know, for, uh, uh, for doing 26-hour shows. And his stamina and his discipline uh, were two elements uh, that I realized were so important, as well as being the leads in shows of responsibilities of setting a tone mm -hmm. and setting an example for everybody else. Is there anyone in particular that... I've been really lucky. I've, I've gotten to watch some extraordinary actors, at, at, you know, and topping it off with Michael and Alan, mm -hmm. but uh, going back to uh, early on, Laurie Metcalf yeah. and John yeah. Goodman, yeah. And, uh, and then I got to see Christine Baranski every day oh. on, when I did Sybil, and to watch that kind of excellence, and, and, and every day. I mean, there was, uh, there was no, it was, she came prepared. Yeah. You know, and I saw that, I see that every day with Allison Janney, and John Cryer. You know, real work ethic. Mm -hmm. Jim Parsons comes and every page is folded down with he, he's ready. He, he comes ready to work, and uh, and 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 it's it's inspiring because after you know many years, you think okay, it's going to slack off. It does not slack off. The real pros show up all the time. 